Ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. They are making an Elvis Presley movie. Let's go. Yes. How's it going, ladies? That's my Elvis impression. What was taking to Hollywood? They had the Elton John movie. They had the Freddie Mercury movie. Both of those guys are peanuts compared to the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Just one of the greatest human beings to ever grace this earth. Genuine, humble. He had it all. So I am hyped for this movie. This is the first movie in probably a decade that I'm actually excited to go to. I don't go to the movies often, but I will go to the movies for this. Maybe, just maybe, with the emergence of this movie and when it becomes a blockbuster hit that it will be, kids will start to appreciate this beautiful music that has been getting slept on for decades. But anyways, enough talking. I want to get into this trailer and I waited to watch it so I can watch it with you guys. Oh, there are some who'd make me out to be the villain of this here story. Colonel Parker, I think. Oh, oh, baby. Are you born with destiny? Or does it just come knocking at your door? There's a young singer from Memphis, Tennessee. Give him a warm hayride welcome. Let me pause it for a moment. Can you sit still to this music? I can't. I, I'm moving. My feet are moving. You can't see it. This is the music where you just cannot control yourself. And I love how they're showing the upbringing on how he got his roots in music. So that's great touch. Let's... Presley! Get a haircut, buttercup! In that moment, I watched that skinny boy transform into a superhero. Elvis was mocked when he was in high school. The kids made fun of him. He was a shy guy. He was a mama's boy. He was my destiny. I wish to promote you, Mr. Presley. Walk to a party in a town of jail. Are you ready to fly? I'm ready. Ready to fly. I'll tell you what. Colonel Parker... He was great for Elvis because he brought him to the world stage and he brought him places that he never thought he'd go. But he is also a horrible human being who worked Elvis to the bone and he's the reason Elvis is no longer here with us today. Tomorrow, all of America will be talking about Elvis Presley. I can't move, I can't sing. Some people want to put me in jail. So Wells moving. They might put me in jail for walking across the street, but you're a famous white boy. This time in America, very divisive. Racial tensions were at an all-time high. The church hated Elvis Presley. The way that he was moving, they thought it was sexual and all this stuff. Well, there were a lot of conservative people who wanted Elvis gone. Meanwhile, all he was doing was expressing his body to the music. This was unparalleled at this time, and you never saw anyone like it. And he kind of inspired many people today to express themselves in ways that they never did before. Elvis was very polarizing. He had a lot of enemies and he had a lot of people who loved his music. And that's almost always the case for people who make it on the world stage. They're loved and they're hated. There is no in between. No one's neutral. So that's how it was for Elvis. The way he sings is God-given. So there can't be nothing wrong with it. It's all right, Senator Kennedy has been shot. Martin Luther King has been shot to death in Memphis. That's all right for you. Tragedy, but it has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with us. Oh. Let's just take a second. It has nothing to do with us, Colonel Parker. It has everything to do with us. That's just power. That just hit me deep. That was a great quote. Justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Elvis knew that. Elvis just wanted a love and peace all around. He just wanted people to enjoy music and unite. You gotta stop squabbling over petty differences and just be one. We're human beings at the end of the day. Let's enjoy music together. That's what he was all about. My darling, I've hungered for your touch. Reverend once told me, when things are too dangerous to say, sing. He looks just like Elvis, too. I'm gonna be 40 soon. And nobody's gonna remember me. I need to get back to who I really am. And who are you, Oz? I just gotta be making the most of this thing while I can. I 
Just go all the way over in a flash. We are the same, you and I. We are two odd, lonely children reaching for eternity. The greatest show on earth. Elvis has left the building. Wow, right there, that just highlighted everything in Elvis' life. His early days getting started, he was getting picked up to his days when people thought he was an outcast, people thought he was a sinner doing all these things. The days when he went in the army, the days when he made his comeback, the days when he's acting, just covered it all. And his Vegas days, him dealing with Colonel Parker. How does a four minute trailer highlight all of that in such a short time? This movie has the potential to break records, I'm telling you right now. Elvis Presley lives on in millions of people worldwide. The reason Elvis is so loved is because he's just a regular person. He just wants to spread love. He never once had a big head and thought he was better than anyone else. He realizes we're all equal as human beings. That's why that Martin Luther King Jr. quote was so good. Martin Luther King was all about equal rights for everyone involved. That's why he said it has everything to to do with us. One of my favorite things though about the trailer, they showed his different roots where he got the music. They showed the soul from the African American community. They showed the rock and roll side. They showed the gospel side. And he was just the perfect blend of all of those. So I'm very excited for this movie. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, why not? And share this to a friend. Get them excited about this movie that's coming out. And comment below, what is your favorite Elvis Presley song? Mine personally is If I Can Dream. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that trailer and have a great day, everybody. Take it easy.